The British Carp Cups on YouTube is brought to you by Eclipse Baits. Let's feed them. to this one. It's a 48 hour competition with 12 pairs of anglers and the highest accumulative weight of carp will win. So in this lake there is a fish that goes 46 pounds odd. Uh, there's a lot of stock he's been stocked in as well so there is some weights that can be achievable. This could be an interesting weekend for the fishermen here at Branston Water Park. Yeah we certainly don't want them getting into a pickle. We have had the draw and our anglers are making their way to their pegs and preparing for the start of this match and in 48 hours time we will find out who our Northern Carp Cup champions are. Three hours in and we have our first carp on the board. Adam Goodwin, Wayne Higgins in peg six. It looks like a low 20, and the scales confirm that at 21 pound 13 ounce. An old, original, dark Branston Water Park mirror is our first fish of the competition to Adam and Wayne. Magic. Let's get an early view from the guys while Lee gets around there and has a chat with them. Peg six, Adam and Wayne. Three hours into the competition and you've already bagged yourself a fish. Yeah, feels good, doesn't it? Um, amazed, can't believe it. Uh, didn't really fancy this peg to be honest with you. It was one of our last ones out of the bag. To be honest, but, no. So coming out the draw, you didn't fancy this? No, we didn't. didn't fancy we this didn't. swim? No, I, as soon as I pulled it out, I said to him, let's go home, to be honest. <laughs> I said, I'm ready, yeah, let's go. It, yeah. But Hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it, eh? It is, yeah. But we got here, there was fish everywhere, all milling about in the shallows. Uh, yeah, been on the zigs, wouldn't have it. Changed to a pop-up. Five minutes later, yeah, bang. Squeal. It's like already ringing the changes yeah. in yes. a short space of time because you had the fish in front of you. Yes, yeah, yeah, straight away. But the, the fish were there and we just had to try different techniques until we had one. So, Are you sticking on that? Yeah, I will. One rod would be kept the same, yeah. yeah. The other, the other one. Up. Fish. Yeah, so and the other one I lost to just a single 10 mil boilie on the deck. So, so you've had one and lost one. Well, yeah. there's, see, there's a yeah. new bit of information. Yeah. We didn't realise that you'd lost one. Yeah, well, yeah. I think you'll have to do something about that, Wayne. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can see you both not fishing together. You've got split pegs. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's a bit tight in this one, so we thought we'd try and make the most of the water. Really, we've got a fair bit of water out there, so we'll try and make the most of it. So. He snores as well, so just move on a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, good luck, gentlemen. Best of luck yeah, for the rest of the competition. Thank you very much. We are with Rob Burgess and Steve Blow in Peg 8. Rob is attached to a fish and this is their first carp of the competition. Rob and Steve are our runners up at the Southern Carp Cup final at Cottington and are trying to go one place further by winning this Midlands final. It appears this carp is coming in with a big ball of weed. So with steady pressure from Rob, he is ensuring that this fish is safely landed. 
slowly and surely is the way so that they can get their first fish in the net. Indeed Lee, this fish isn't really fighting, it looks to be a dead weight on the end. It's being gently pumped in by Rob. The thing is, is there still a carp on the end or is it just a big ball of weed? Steve is ready with the net. And there appears to be a carp moving at the back of that weed. Good luck. Yes, it's still there. First carp safely landed for Rob and Steve. Rob is conscious that there are carp still in the swim, so he quickly ties up a new PVA bag to put instantly back on the spot. The bag's tied, Rob lines up his spot before his cast. Bang, out it goes. Hits the clip, and there he is fishing again. Making sure the line is sunk, he then sets the rod in the rest, sets the clutch and attaches the bobbin in readiness for his next bite. So let's put this carp on the scales. Nick Hoxon from the British Carp Cups can call it. 15 pound, 10 ounces. Rob Burgess and Steve Blow are off and running in the Northern Final. All with a little help from Gracie. So here is our Friday evening leaderboard and after a really slow start to this competition we only have two carp caught with our current leaders Adam Goodwin and Wayne Higgins in peg six on £21.13 closely followed by Steve Blow and Rob Burgess in peg eight with £15.10. Sovereign that's bang in the middle 28. 28.13 that is. So, early hours of Saturday morning, and this £28.13 ounce common to Peg 4, Liam Atkins and Andy Goodall. <laughs> a real old war of a common for Liam, and he's rightly pleased with this one, and it's from a really difficult shallow area of the lake. After a slow start, dawn has arrived, and on this morning, the news is that a few carp have been caught from around the lake. Simon Wheeler and Mark Sawyer in peg five with this lovely 11 pound four ounce common. Steve Blow, Rob Burgess have had two this morning and this should take these guys into the lead. It is this first one, 13 pound two ounce. And the second of the brace, nine pounds five ounces. Two pretty stockies for Peg 8 for Rob and Steve, and these do indeed take them into the top spot in the Northern Carp Cup final. Still a long time to go, but it's a nice start. In Peg 1, with our reigning champions, Carl Palmer and Callum Gutridge, and they have their first carp. £9.6. £9.6. Six £9 ounces. Pounds. Carl and Callum may struggle to retain their crown from this very unfancied nice. peg, but a few more of these little mirrors will help their cause and they will fight until the very end. So I'm with Carl and Callum, you're in peg one. Reigning champions, tell us your thoughts. Mm. Well, we come out 11th in the draw, so it wasn't a good start, but obviously sat in the bag, but so, you know, from the start it wasn't too good, but we've had one fish so far at nine pounds, so we're just gonna see what happens and keep plugging away. You're off the mark, so like I say, there's only six people that have caught so far halfway through on Saturday. It's still anyone's anyone's to play for. It's not the best win, but you guys have got the tactics to pull this out of bag, surely. Well, hopefully. We've, uh, we've seen a few fish yesterday, but as soon as the match started, they seemed to disappear. Um, we've had, what, four or five tench as well? Yeah. But um, I suppose if tench feed them, we'll hopefully get a carp or two. But just keeping the tactics simple, just bags, just moving them around, hopefully just pick up a fish, fish for a bite at a time. That's it, in an area that's predominantly usually weedy, you tell us it's clear. Yeah, there's nothing out yeah, there. Really. nothing out there at all, so that's a worry of a thing. So. Andy, Liam, lovely common last night, tell us about it. Yeah, it was uh, 
bit out of the blue to be honest. Looking a bit bleak out there. Um, been baiting a spot through the day. Uh, and yeah, just not very aggressive take all, very slow, steady in. But you had a few dramas landing it, I hear. Yeah, quite a few. Yeah. For you, those who don't know, it's very shallow in this peg and the lads have had to contend with it and trying to land a 28 pound common, not great fun. With about two foot of silt that you just slip into, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun to say the least. But at least you got it in, you're yeah. on the board, you're in second place at the moment. Yeah. Can you better that? Fingers crossed it. A couple of fish tonight. Yeah, no, a couple of it's fish and it could put you right on the leaderboard. It's that close at the top, so. Yeah, it's all to play for. Well, good luck, boys. Just Let's see what's related. And so, with a few fish out now, here is our midway leaderboard. Steve Blow, Rob Burgess are our current leaders with three carp for 38 pounds and one ounce. Sitting second, Andy Goodall, Liam Atkins with that 28 pound 13 ounce common. And in third is Adam Goodwin, Wayne Higgins with the first fish of the competition at 21 pounds 13 ounces. Fourth position is currently held by Peg Five, Mark Sawyer, Simon Wheeler with two carp now for 18 pound one ounce. So let's have a chat with our current leaders, Steve and Rob, to get their views halfway through this competition. Peg eight, Rob and Steve, in the lead by nine pounds. Still confident? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we had them last night, so hopefully tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Little ones in. That's fine. Carry on. Yeah, hopefully oh, tonight we'll get them again. I'm just gonna get so another grade. Seem to be when they came through last night. Was yeah, midnightish. So night bites. We've got all thinking. yeah, all tight all the night again. So fingers well, crossed. To be fair, the like, whole lake's quiet at the moment, there. isn't it? So no one's catching. No, no, which is uh, good for us. It's good for you because it's keeping you <laughs> in the lead. We nicked a road bike yesterday, didn't we? At, yeah. At, what five in the five in the evening, six in the evening. So there's always a chance for that. But it's we are right. holding on to that midnight. Mm bite time but yeah. I think everyone else is as well so yeah I think that's, that's the it? general consensus mm. at the moment it seemed to be 1am last night was two or three well four pegs all caught around that 1am yeah, time I'm gonna so, get another so there's no panicking yeah. not going to change anything you no. carry on what no. you're doing no, no. still Same working so night, yeah. no, we're, we're confident aren't we they come across again nip that bite hopefully keeps in the plate keep another yeah. two or three will hopefully uh, do well, good luck lads and slow. cheers mate So, peg nine, Chris Donovan, Darren Pierce. We've got lovely weather, guys. Yeah, the uh, the weather's the weather's been kind of good all match so far, really. It felt certainly yesterday and last night like the weather was prime for it before they could be moving around a bit more than what they have. We haven't seen much show. Uh, we haven't had any bites, so it's, it's still a bit, you know, coming and ahhing as to whether we're doing the right thing or not, or whether they've passed through us. Um, and got from one end of the lake to the other last night. I know the lads obviously had a bite, but yeah, we were kind of uh, just sitting on our hands, really, just hoping that something will happen. It's never easy in these situations, is it, really? Knowing that there's people beside you catching fish, people opposite catching fish, the weather's been spot on for it. Yeah. The doubts creep in. Um, I wouldn't say there's any doubt creeping in, because I think, I, so I fished here last year, so I've, I've caught fish from the lake, so I kind of know that how I'm fishing it has caught fish here before. It's, we found clear spots, so we know we're fishing. It's, I think it's just a case of really whether the fish are going to move in to our area of the lake, even long enough or in big enough numbers for us to get by it. Well, it only takes a couple of these stockies to change that leaderboard. The good thing is, first place is only £38. So that, that's kind of, um, and even obviously second and third, you're talking one fish. Uh, this swim done a 30 last year, so the, the bigger fish obviously get in this area. Um, and a £38 win net, a couple of bites. Even if it stays like this till half eleven tomorrow, you could get a couple of bites in that last half hour, and you could still sneak first, or even a podium, or even through to the grand final. So we're, we're not worried. We're, we're quite happy. Um, be nice to get a bite. There's yeah. plenty of time. Darren's hiding the way back there, making some rigs, doing a few bits. Yeah, he's squirrelled away. He's uh, he's, got, he's just sitting there scratching his head, I think, because obviously we've, we've got four rods out. We've, we've tried different spots now. We've tried over bait. We've tried singles. Um, and it's really what, what can you try next as to, you know, we might just have one or two fish creeping through the swim and we might just have to try and sneak a bite. 
rather than having a group that want to come and sit over a bed of bait. So it's, what can you try next? I mean, maybe a, maybe a zig, to be fair, because this, this is as warm as I've felt it all weekend. Yeah, the sun has certainly yeah. come out. So yeah. let's hope you guys can catch a few, get yourself on the leaderboard at yeah. least, work your way up. Let's hope so. Something to build from. Definitely, let's hope so. Good luck. Cheers. So, as we enter Saturday night, it has been an extremely quiet match, with Branston Water Park fishing slowly and not giving up its carp very easily. We head back to base camp in the hope that there are a few more captures overnight. Yes, that's right, Paul. Let's see if anything changes overnight and into the final morning. The Sunday morning dawned after yet another quiet night at Branston Water Park. The sun is shining on Steve Blow and Rob Burgess in Peg 8. We've extended their lead with the only carp to report. Seven seven. At seven pounds seven ounces. This keeps them in the driving seat for this title. Steve Blow, Rob Burgess, and Steve's daughter, little Gracie, are looking though they are now red hot favourites for this title. Gracie holding up this little Branston Water Park stocky. Can Peg 8 now be caught with only a few hours remaining? Gentlemen, it's Sunday morning and you've not had a fish. What is going on? We lost one yesterday morning. To be fair mate, when we pulled the peg at the draw we weren't too happy with it. So, but being a fair venue, we're still in with a chance now. What's it being one with 40 odd pound there? Yeah, 40 pound and there's single fish all the way up to near enough podiums. Yeah, two bites, you'd be unlucky really, wouldn't you, not to, to be head, there Your head doesn't bats. drop, does it? You shouldn't drop your head No, no, time. no. Well, we've seen a couple this morning and uh, we've just changed to some zig, so a bit of luck, the sun's out, the pressure looks really high today, so a bit of luck would nick that bite we need. Yeah, we've come around and spoke to you throughout the competition every day just to see what your thoughts are. And like I say, you've not remained unconfident. No, well, we've had a couple of tench. Shame it ain't a tench match, really. Oh, but, yeah. Um, so we've got a spot we think that's working. That's where we lost the carp yesterday morning. So, But no more bites have sort of accumulated from that. So we'll just keep going to the end and with a bit of luck we'll nick that fish. Consolation, Bob. You're not that 12 to peg board. Yeah, so that's a good thing. <laughs> be nice to get a fish on the bank now, right? Yeah. Still time. Yeah, there is. Just got to keep fishing, that's it. All right, brilliant. Happy days. Let's hope you catch a fish. Cheers, mate. Darren, Jason, peg 12. Been a bit of a grueler. Yeah, has, mate, definitely. Um, really, well, found it really hard, really. And then with sort of yesterday morning, there seems to be a, quite a big algae bloom that you can see all down in the yeah, margins and everything. The margin, yeah. yeah, and I think that's possibly killed it a little bit stone dead, but because we've had that was, one and we've not managed to get anything no, since. No, that's right. I mean, you was happy with your peg originally. There was a few fish milling around in there. And we were sort of hoping you'd have a few out there, but it just hasn't transpired, is it? No, it hasn't, unfortunately. Um, I think I think there was a strong south whistly blowing down on the first day, um, and, there were, and some fish did follow it, but as soon as that backed off, they, they went with it. Really. Yeah, exactly. But you've had a fish, yeah. and I've, like six pairs haven't even had a fish, so yeah, yeah, sure. you've done yeah. something right along the way yeah, somewhere, yeah, yeah. but if yeah. you need another one, there's like two hours left. If you get another one, it didn't qualify you. That's right, yeah, 21 course, pounder yeah. and we'd be in second place. Yeah. Well, That's all we to, need. Good luck to you guys, it could happen. Thank, Thank you. you. So, rounding the peg with our leaders in the final last few seconds of the match. And there it is, there's the final hooter. The 2017 Midland Carp Cup champions are Steve Blow and Rob Burgess. Good match. A big congratulations to Steve Blow and Rob Burgess in peg eight with four carp of 45 pounds and eight ounces. Second, goes to Andy Goodall and Liam Atkins in peg four with that one common carp for 28 pounds and 13 ounces and with three small carp to 23 pound and one ounces third position goes to Mark Sawyer and Simon Wheeler in peg five.
but I've got to say, a late fish, three fish for 23 pounds, one ounce, Mark Sawyer and Simon Wheeler, well done guys. Runners up, uh, must have seemed like quite a long weekend after that Friday night fish. One fish for 28.13, Andy Goodall, Liam Atkins. And finally, the Midlands Cup Cup winners 2017, the ever consistent Steve and Grace Blow with Rob Burgess in back up. Uh, four fish for £45.8, well done. Our 2017 Midlands Carp Cup champions Rob Burgess and Steve Blow. A huge congratulations to them and the rest of the top four who have qualified for the main British Carp Cups final at Orchard Place Farm in Kent. So Paul, it's been a tough 48 hours competition and sadly it has now come to an end. Next up is the Northern Carp Cup final at Kew Lake and we will see you there. See you soon. British Carp Cups on YouTube is brought to you by Eclipse Baits. Let's feed them.